Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 16.37. I'm sorry. And it says, the rod assembly is supported by ball and socket joints at A and B. At the instant shown, it is rotating about the y-axis with an angular velocity omega equals to 5 radians per second and has an angular acceleration alpha equal to 8 radians per second squared. Determine the magnitudes of the velocity and acceleration of point C at this instant. Solve the problem using Cartesian vectors and equation 16.9 and 16.13, okay? So, what we're seeing here is basically this rod assembly that they're describing us and it has uh, an angular velocity, an angular velocity in this uh, J direction, right? And we want to know what's the velocity and acceleration of this point, okay? So, the first thing I like to do in those problems, like always, Let's write out my givens. I'm giving the angular velocity omega. Let me write uh, omega is equal to five radians per second. Alpha is equal to eight radians per second square. Okay, so these are the only two things that I'm giving. And also, the problem is telling me, hey, utilize equation 16.9 and 16.13. What are these equations? Well, these equations are these two, which are basically the equations for velocity and for acceleration, okay? You utilizing vectors. So, um, now that we know that we are utilizing vectors, well, we need the vector of uh, the velocity and the vector of uh, my acceleration to solve these problems. So... We have the angular velocity, but it's not in vector form. It's not uh, in Cartesian form, if we want to say it this way. But what we can say is like, hey, look, both of them are going in the positive y direction. And by the right hand rule, where we, if we point our thumb in the direction of it, we, we, can say, we can see that we have to rotate in the way that these two are being displayed, okay? So we know that way that it's positive. So since we know it's positive and it's in the y direction, we're going to give it a j in next to both of them, okay? So we'll have 5j and the angular velocity and 8j in the acceleration, okay? So now that we have that, let's just go ahead and try to solve for my velocity. Well, my velocity is going to be the cross product of my angular velocity times the the radius or the arm about my point well my point is c so we need to find this vector or radius c and what, I, what we basically are meaning is the vector distance vector from a to c okay since a is my zero coordinate so my r c my arm c is going to be equal to the position of my point C. Well, in the x direction, we're traveling negative 4, as shown in here, so negative 0 0.4 in the i direction or x direction. In the y direction, well, I got no displacement in the y direction, okay? So this is the displacement in the x, and this will be my displacement in the z direction. So I have a positive 0 0.3 in the z direction and for c we represent it with a k so that's why we have the 0 0.3 okay so now we have the angular velocity we got the moment arm c so what we can say is that this cross product the way that i like to do it is utilizing my determinant so we're going to do some ijk then we put first w well w is only five in the j so i'm going to put five in the j and zero and zero for the rest for i and k my r c is equal to negative 0 0.4 zero in the j a direction and positive 0 0.3 in the k direction and the way to solve this well the way that i like to see do this is kind of like blocking this row and this column right and then what we're going to do is multiply 5 times 0 0.3 multiplying this crossing like it's a cross product so we cross 
multiply. So 5 times 0 0.3, this should give me a total of 1.5 minus the multiplication of 0 times 0. Well, that will give me 0. So 1.5 minus 0 will give me 1.5. And this will be in the i direction. We're going to do the same thing, but for the j direction, we're going to multiply 0 times 0 0.3, it gives me 0. And negative 0 0.4 times 0 gives me 0. So we got 0 in the um, negative 0 in the j direction. I put a negative because that's how we are supposed to like uh, solve the equation. So first it goes to a negative. Then we got plus, but it doesn't matter at the end, this, this is 0. And then we have the k direction. So for the k direction, we had this column and this row. And what we have is a multiplication of 0 times 0 will give me 0. So we got 0 minus negative, so minus negative 0 0.4 times 5. That will give me a total of 2. So minus 2. Sorry, I'm missing the minus, the minus 2 in the k direction. Okay, so we can basically... Um, Simplify this to 1.5 in the i direction plus 2 in the k direction. Okay, so now we found our velocity in Cartesian form. Now all we have to do is find its magnitude, right? So we're going to do the magnitude and we'll have that the magnitude of my velocity, because that's what the question is asking us, is going to be equal to the square root of 1.5 squared plus 2 squared. And if we plug this into our calculator, this will give me a total of 2.5. And the units for velocity, it should be in meters per second. Okay, so I'm just double checking the units. We got meters and the velocity was given in radians per second. Therefore, we have the seconds. Okay, so meters per second is our right answer. This will be our first answer for this problem. Next, we're going to do the acceleration. So for the acceleration, we're going to follow that equation. So we got that the acceleration of my point C is going to be equal to the acceleration, angular acceleration, cross product of my distance C minus omega squared multiplied by this distance C. The first thing Let's write out uh, my cross product between alpha and the distance of C. So we have our I, J, K to do our cross product. Then the first thing is alpha. Well, alpha is zero in the I, eight in the J, and zero in the K. For my RC is the same, 0 0.4, negative 0 0.4, zero and 0 0.3. Where, um, then we have minus. Omega squared, well, omega in this case, if you pay attention, is not a vector. It's just basically its value, which is 5. So we got 5 squared multiplied by RZ, which is negative 0 0.4 in the I direction plus 0 0.3 in the K direction. Okay, so let's just start by solving this cross product. So we're going to do similar steps. We hide the column on the vector of the I. And then we multiply. So we multiply 8 times 0 0.3 will give me 2.4 minus 0 times 0 will give me 0. Therefore, this is 2.4 in the i direction. Next, we do the j direction. So we hide the j column and row. And we have 0 times 0 0.3 will give me 0. Negative 0 0.4 times 0 will give me 0. Again, we got 0 in the j direction. Then finally, we got the k, and we have 0 times 0, so we give 0 minus, and then negative 0 0.4 times a will give me a negative um, 3.2, okay, in the k direction, minus, and... Just to oversimplify this, I'm going to do like a mini step in here inside. Well, 5 squared is 25, and we're multiplying it by this vector. 
So basically we have a scalar, meaning the 25 scalar, multiplied by a vector. So it's just a simple multiplication. So we got 25 multiplied by negative 0 0.4. That will give me negative 10. So we open a parenthesis, do not confuse with, sim, uh, with sign, negative 10 in the i direction plus 25 times 0 0.3 will give me a total of 7.5 in the k direction, okay? So again, all I did was multiplying this 25 times this negative 0 0.4 times this 0 0.3. Now what we can do is simplify this a little further. The 2.4 stays the same in the i direction, plus this negative and negative become a positive. We got plus 3.2 in the k direction. And then we're going to distribute this minus inside the parentheses. Therefore, the negative 10 becomes positive 10, positive 10 in the i direction, and then negative the positive 7.5 becomes negative 7.5 in the k direction. Okay, so we're going to add the x components with the x component. We end up having 12.4 in the i direction. And we're going to have a negative because 3.2 minus 7.5, negative 4.3 in the k direction. And we just found out our acceleration in Cartesian form of my pound c. However, the problem is asking for its magnitude. Therefore, we're going to find the magnitude by applying Pythagorean theorem. We have that the square root of 12.4 squared plus 4.3 squared. Notice that I didn't put the negative. It doesn't even ma it doesn't matter to put the negative, but it should technically have a negative inside. When we have this, uh, when we apply this into our calculator, we get a total of 13.1 and the units should be meters per second square. Okay, so this will be our second answer for this problem. So I hope you guys liked the video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.